obviously like friends and family. It's St. Patrick's Day, so wonderful day to be Patrick and uh, wonderful day to be Irish. But uh, if you're neither, no worries. Uh, you can still celebrate. Um, there's a lot of stories and mystery and myths around Patrick, but uh, I love the one thing that is attributed to him always, and it's the uh, prayer, the breastplate of St. Patrick. And I love that idea that your prayers are your shield, your prayers are your armor. And we need to just take on that idea this week, uh, just of, you know, letting our prayers be what defends us. There's, and there's all sorts of things where we feel attacked and where we feel pressure and we just, you know, we're all in this lockdown and pandemic and all that kind of stuff. And you know what? Let our prayers be our shield. Let our prayers be our defense. And I love the prayer itself because basically he says, you know, Christ within me, Christ around me, Christ in my left and my right. Basically, he's just saying, you know, I need you, Jesus. I need you, Messiah. I need you, Christ. I want to immerse myself in you. And I want to open my heart and my mind and my awareness to your presence. And let's just be those kind of people today today, you know, that we would immerse ourselves in Jesus, that we would open our eyes and open our hearts and open our spirits to, yes, you are here, yes, you are present, and yes, we can have a conversation, yes, you can be my defense, yes, yes, yes. And so that's the message for today, is just say yes to Jesus. Say, yes, I realize you're here, yes, I'm going to speak with you, yes, I'm going to let you be my shield and my very great reward. Be blessed and be a blessing. Happy St. Patrick's Day.